Hello, Sandrita. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Primera. Yes. <laughs> you were my first student. Okay. That's good. It's very good. How was your day, Sandrita? Um, nice. <laughs> Nice, <laughs> nice. Nice. Me cuesta que se me queden las palabras. No, but it, it is good. I mean, you are going to be like improving little by little. But okay. you need to practice a lot because only with practice is the one that you are going to get better results. I mean, practice more and more and more every day. Yeah. Okay, Sandrich. And is anybody in your house learning English? I don't know, your son, your daughter, your husband. That is it someone in your house learning English? Or is there someone who knows English? Hay alguien que sepa o que esté aprendiendo? Solo yo. Okay, so that's, it's the moment, right? And do you, I think, you have children, right? Mi niña. Okay, how old is she? Pero lo normal de la escuela. So even if it is the normal from the school, you can practice with her. I mean, even like, what's your name? How old are you? Things like very simple things. Practice with them. So she is going to learn from now that she doesn't have to be afraid, right? Así le va inculcando a ella desde ahorita que no le tiene que tener miedo al idioma, que tiene que hacerlo como algo normal. Es como, ah, yeah. Yes. So you need to practice with her. Practice, Thank you. Practice with your daughter. Hello, Jorge. Hello, Mirna, Wendy. Miss Diego Rodrigo, how are you? It is a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. When, Wendy looks very fresh. <laughs> Recién bañadita. That's so fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> because with this weather, I mean, it was so hot. I know, so minutes ago, it was so hot that it was like, I know. <laughs> well, very good. It has been, it's because it's about to rain. I think it is, it is going to rain soon. Está tronando. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is like very strange thing. Yeah, here it's about to rain, but we're going to have a nice class, hopefully. We're going to be ready and done with the class. Well, my dear students, it's a big, big pleasure for me to serve you once again, to have you here, and for sure to have the opportunity to put into practice all the things that we have learned during this week. I was telling Sandrita, that if you have the chance to practice with someone in your house, do it. Don't feel ashamed of doing it, right? For example, if you have your husband, your daughter, your son, whoever is learning English, quien sea que esté aprendiendo inglés en su casa, o que lo esté haciendo en la escuela, o que lo practique de repente, practíquelo con él o con ella. Al principio así como que, ay mamá, es que me da pena de usted. No, because you have to show them that it's something normal that they need to practice, okay? So later on, they are going to like it and they are going to practice the language. So do you have the opportunity to practice with someone in your house? Yes, my, uh -huh. my son. Yes, with my you, son. With your son, okay? So my son is speaking English. Practice with him. So you see, you have a very good opportunity there. Uh, anybody else? Adriana, do you have someone to practice in your house? In my trabajo, teacher. Oh, in your job. So you see, even better, right? You have the chance. Cynthia, do you have someone to practice? No, I stay solita. Oh, okay. So a lot of videos, a lot of audios, a lot of YouTube, right? To practice. Uh, Laura Lisette, do you have someone to practice in your house? Sí, en el trabajo con los clientes. Oh, so you see, even better, right? If you have people to practice, do it. That is the most important part of English. And in many of the cases, we say like, ay, hemos sido amigos como por ocho años. Yo estoy aprendiendo inglés, yo también. 
y nunca hemos practicado. Right? So you need to take advantage of the people that you have around. Anybody, if you have someone to practice English, practice conversations, whatever thing, something simple, something basic, but practice because that is going to give you perfection. Right? One day I was sharing with my, my other group, I estaba compartiendo con el otro grupo, que con mi mejor amiga nos cobrábamos un dólar cada vez que hablábamos español. <laughs> and we were like, <laughs> in English, we used to say, when we were at the university. So, but because it was one dollar for the other person. So it was like, I don't want to pay one dollar. So I had to use English. Qué divertido. No, and it was like that. And the thing is that one, one time uh, there was a, a like an earthquake, right? Un temblor. And she said, Está temblando. Toma el dólar. And she gave me the dollar because she was shaking and she was afraid of that. So she had the dollar ready, but she wanted to tell me that it was shaking and I was running outside. So challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to do things. Watch a lot of videos. Today, I sent you the best friends of English, right? Los más temidos del inglés. Se los envío hoy en la tarde. Hoy en la mañana. El pasado. Ya le <laughs> Ya me dio ideas con mi hija. Yeah, you see. You Pero see. de acuerdo, vamos a jugar mejor. Yeah, you can, you can start with 10 cents. 10 cents and then 5, 10, 25, with then one dollar. Yeah, <laughs> so I share with you about the past tense. The past tense is the enemy of English because many people are afraid of this and they say, I know el pasado es lo más peligro, lo más difícil, que no sé qué, que no sé qué. Because people never read, people never practice. So I sent you the list of verbs, the different meanings, the different pronunciations, right? It is very well detailed, right? Las listas están bien detalladas. ¿Para qué? Para que ustedes vayan conociendo el pasado de una manera friendly, una manera muy amigable, no así como el gran miedo que le meten a uno. Es que el pasado es lo peor del inglés. Si no lo aprendes, nunca vas a poder. You can do it. But the idea is that you need to read, right? Is it, is it true that you need to memorize the verbs? Yes, but it is more important that you understand how to use them, okay? That you read a lot. If you can see all the books are in past tense, okay? Todo libro que agarre, todo libro en inglés que agarre va a estar en pasado. And you have to read in order to understand, right? You have to recognize the verbs and the past tenses. So please start giving this opportunity. The regular verbs are easy, but they have different pronunciation. I sent you the three different groups of pronunciation. Se los envié divididos en tres grupos distintos. Ya para que nadie le, de, le mienta. Ya ven hasta dónde los los ando consintiendo <laughs> para que ya solo los reconozcan y los practiquen right? you have the pronunciation T at the end, the pronunciation D at the end and the pronunciation ID right? they say this it is right? so you have the three different forms of verbs, this is something that we are going to use the next week right? the next week and the last week of the course we are going to use past tense. So it is better if you practice a lot, okay? So after all this introduction about the past tense, we have presentations to do, and then we are going to talk about places in town, okay? So who was missing yesterday for the presentation? And if your couple is here, we can present. ¿Quién está pendiente de la presentación? Y si su pareja está aquí, podemos hacerlo ya. Wendy and... Juanita. Juanita. Okay. Juanita. Okay, Wendy and Juanita. Let me share my doctor. <laughs> okay, you are the doctor. And doctor. Juanita is going to be the patient. Okay. Okay. So, action. Hello, Mrs. Tia. How are you today? I feel very bad. What's wrong exactly? Um... I have feet pain. Did you have an accident? 
I don't know, but how a lot. Okay, let's take a look at you. I am going to give you muscle cream and analgesic before I sleep for one week. Okay. Anything else? Yes, don't work in a stand, a stand up. Thank you, doctor. Get well. Okay, doctor, very good job. Don't work standing, okay? So you have to sit down. Nice job, nice job, Juanita. Nice job, Wendy, <laughs> very good job. Nice reactions for your friends, people. Go ahead, reactions for your friends. I will send you a heart for this beautiful conversation. Who is next? Thank you, Ana Ruth, for the claps and everything. Good job. Who is next? Yo. Okay, Sandrita, who is your couple? Okay. Francisco. Okay, Jorge, Francisco, and Sandrita. Go ahead. Um, hello, Mr. Francisco. How are you today? Not so good. So at round exactly? I'm in, I'm in Southwest. Um, why do you ask her? I have, I have sore eyes. Sorry. Casi no le escucho. He has, he has sore eyes, doctor. Okay, let's, let's take a look. I'm going to prescribe a few drops. Um, apply two drops in the HAs every eight hours. Anything, anything else? else? Anything else? Anything else? <laughs> um, and you have three days of disability. Disability. Uh -huh. disability. All right. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> you see, that's it. Good. You see the change when you say you have three days of disability. Thank you, Sandra, very much. Thank you a lot. Ajá. Cuando te dice, firme la incapacidad. Yeah. <laughs> <Love it. laughs> you see, I, I, I feel better already. <laughs> I, I feel nice, you say. The disability yeah, to, at the beach, right? And it is it is commonly known as disability or the common word that we have, it's a work leave. A work leave, it's a permission that you get for you not to go to work, right? Good, Tati, I understand. So that's a work leave or a disability because you need to stay at home. And we say, I am going to prescribe. I am going to prescribe some acetaminophen. I am going to prescribe some medicine. I am going to prescribe some eye drops, right? Put two drops in the each eye. You cannot say in the each eye, you say on each eye, okay? Put two drops on each eye, okay? But for the rest, it was very good. Thank you very much. Miss Sandrita and Jorge, excellent job. The one that you did, reactions for your friends and claps. Very good job. Who's next? ¿Quién nos falta? Ursula, Adriana, who's your couple? Eh, Lorena. Lorena. Lorenita. There you go. Okay. Hello, Miss Hernandez. How are you? So, what's wrong exactly? Uh, I have a stomach. Mm. 
Why are you so stomachy? I do not. I think I not. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take Alka Seltzer according to how you feel the discomfort. And don't eat processed foods, just take oral cereal. Anything else, doctor? Yes, have a little rest. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. <laughs> okay, thank you, Lorenita. Thank you very much. I don't know what's the problem with your headphones. Maybe, Lorenita, because it, we have difficulties. In many of the cases, when you have headphones that are just on the ears, they give you problems, right? Los audífonos que son solo en las orejitas son los que más problemas no dan a veces. Así que quizás por ahí ha de ir el problema. But we had the chance, right? Good. Something that I will change. Why are you so a stomach ache? <laughs> In this case, we could say, ¿Por qué estás tú tan dolor de estómago? That's not, that's not correct. So you say, why are you so sick? Or why are you feeling like that? Did you eat something strange? Okay, so you can you can uh, express something like that, right? Did you eat something different? Or why are you feeling like that? So you can express something like that. But uh, in the case, you cannot say, why are you so stomachache, right? Porque estás tú tan dolor de estómago. In that case, we can use words like the ones that I am going to send you on the chat. And you can ask these type of questions. Let me see, I am going to write them on the screen as well. So I think it's better like this. You can use questions in, in that uh, case, like how long, how long have you been feeling like that? How long have you been feeling like that? What is the meaning of this? ¿Qué significaría esto? How long have you been ¿Cuánto feeling? Tiempo tienes sintiéndote así? Exactly like that. How long have you been feeling like that? Or you can say like, you can say, what's wrong? Okay, what's wrong? And she can say, I have a terrible stomachache. It hurts a lot, right? How long have you been feeling like that? And what have you... What have you eaten lately? ¿Qué has estado comiendo últimamente? Right, what have you eaten lately? Right, you have this one. And there are some other questions like, did you eat something on the street? Because that's the most common cause of a stomach ache, right? When you eat something on the street and you say, teacher, but the mango was fantastic. <laughs> but you see, a stomach ache, diarrhea, problems, right? So these are other questions that you can add, right? To these situations. How long have you been feeling like that? What's wrong? Uh, what, have you, what have you eaten lately or does it hurt a lot? Duele mucho. Does it hurt a lot? And then people say like, ah, yes, it hurts. Doctors always say from one to 10, how much does it hurt? <laughs> 20. <laughs> Del uno al diez, cuánto le duele, they say. <laughs> 40. So, and, and it hurts a lot. So these are other questions that you can use. Very good. Who is next? I am going to give the opportunity to two more groups. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. ¿Quiénes no falta? Alguien que no haya pasado. Isela, did you practice your conversation? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay. Right. Let me see. Who is missing? Eric Javier? Yes. 
No, teacher, no pasé ayer. Este, uh -huh. Who is your mi, couple? Mi compañero es uh, David Rafael. David Rafael. Hello. Creo que sí. <risa> yeah. Sí, sí, yo era. <risa> ¿Quién que ah, creo que sí? <risa> ok, David y sí. Eric, go ahead. Ok. Hello, David. How are you today? I'm not so good. Oh, what's wrong exactly? I have a backache. Why are you have backache? I don't know. I just feel a hard pain on my back. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you muscle cream. Give the cream before you go to the bed. Anything else? Anything else, doctor? <laughs> Sorry, doctor. Eric, what was your recommendation? Mm. Yes, I don't work too hard. Okay, don't work too hard. Don't sleep too much. <laughs> don't work too hard, right? Okay, that's it. anything else, doctor? That's it? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you, doctor. And thank you, Mr. David. Claps for your couple, please. Good. In this case, when you say, why are you, why are you have a backache? Okay, in this case, it's like, why are you have? It's not possible. So you say like, why do you? Why do you have a backache? Right? Why do you have a backache? Why do you? That's the form of question. So very good job. Thank you very much, Eric and David. Who's missing? The last ones of the night. Ajá. ¿Quién nos falta? Chicos, no se queden sin participar. Thank you, Reina. Who's your couple, Reina? Good night. Uh, my couple, uh, Laura. Okay, Laurita. Oh, sí. Yeah. Voy a empezar yo. Okay. okay. Hello, Mr. Eh, Mr. Reina. Miss Reina, perdón. Hello. I don't feel well. Well. Why you don't feel well? I they have I have the flu. You name eh, Mercy Yes. What do you recommend? Recommend it. I I go to exam your first um, prescript you some uh, medicine. I go to give you Joe a ceramino a ceramino fen. Creo que es no ceramino fen. It's the same. Uh -huh. Ceramino fen for you sore throat and Loretta Loretta today. Loretta today for you. Dorate, ¿cómo es? Perdón. Dorate, it's the same. Dorate, Dorate, for your call. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Reina. Very good job. Thank you very much. A clap for you. So I am going to examine you. I am going to examine you. It's correct, but you can say, I will take a look at you or I will check you up, right? I will check you up. It's like, te voy a revisar, or I will take a look at you. Te voy a revisar. That's another form of saying. Thank you very much, ladies, for this participation. Okay. Anyone else? Al último de la noche? La última pareja de la noche? Who? Huh? It's like, ay, ya pasé, teacher, ya pasé, ya pasé todo, ya pasan. <laughs> Who's busy? Bye. Four, three, two, one, and Mr. Brian, who was your couple? You already passed yesterday, right? 
Yes, teacher. I pass. Uh, yes. Yes, you were you were one of the first ones yesterday. Well, I really appreciate to all the ones who take the chance to participate. And if you didn't, maybe you can do it in a different uh, moment, right? I know some of you are still driving. Hay algunos que van en camino a casa todavía, solo por eso no les digo. It's your turn because they are on the car. Well, thank you very much for this. And because these little participations, these little conversations help you to improve, right? They help you to give you more knowledge, more information, more vocabulary, right? So as I told you yesterday, we are going to work on two things today. I am going to finish working on the section of the book, right? This is what you have been doing. This is how we are going to close the session, right? With the imperatives. And we are going to finish this little exercise, right? And in this case, I have call a dentist. In which cases do you call a dentist? I call a dentist when I have what? Toothache. A toothache, right? When I have a toothache. Don't worry too much. In which case can someone give you this piece of advice? Don't worry too much. If I feel? Take, take two or three. <laughs> okay. In, in, the, in the case of don't worry too much. ¿En qué caso me darían esta indicación? Teacher, don't worry too much. If I feel what? A stress. If I feel a stress. Okay. Exactly yeah. like that, right? If I feel a sad. stress. If I feel sad. Right. If I feel sad, if I feel stressed, many many people is going to tell you, "Hey, don't worry too much." Right. Si te morís, solo tamales vamos a ir a comer. And that's it, right? Café y pan. Yeah, café con pan. Right. Hojitas. Ya le dije. Den hojitas. Llego. Hojitas con café. But then people are going to eat very happy and everything. Ay, pobrecita tan linda que era. Ay, adiós la chelita se murió. But that's it. That's it. I mean, and the next day, they continue with their normal life. So don't worry too much. <laughs> don't mm -hmm. worry too much. Because mm -hmm. if you feel stressed or if you feel sad. What about the next one? It says take two aspirins, right? Jorge gave us the, the answer. Take two aspirins. Mm -hmm. If you have a headache, right? If you have a headache, if you feel fever, if you think you are going to have the flu, you can take two aspirins, okay? Take two aspirin. What about the next one? To school. Not go. Uh-huh. How do you make it in an imperative? No. Don't, very good, don't no. go. Remember that the imperatives are with don't, okay? Todos los imperativos negativos van con don't. Don't go to school. In which cases you can skip a school? In which cases can you skip? A and when have fever? When you have fever, right? Exactly. Now with COVID, right? We mm. never know. A skip a school is que no vas. That's como que, I know I'm, I'm sick, teacher. Sorry. And then you skip school, right? When you have fever, another case? When you have a stomachache. When you have a stomachache, when you have vomit, vomit. Right? you cannot go to school for sure. And when you have other problems with the stomach right? Relaxing music. Listen. Listen to relaxing music, right? Do you like to listen to relaxing music? Mm, yeah. 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 You, you cannot imagine what is my, my relaxing music. <laughs> One day in the office, I had my music ready and the secretary comes and says like, listen, see, hay esa música. It's my relaxing music. <laughs> okay, she's <laughs> bueno, cada quien. <laughs> yeah, so relaxing music. A doctor. See sí. a doctor, right? See a doctor. Coffee. No. Not drink. Not drink. Not drink. Not drink. Not drink. No drink don't. or don't drink. Ah, okay. Don't. don't drink. 
Ok. Está malo. Don't drink. No eat. Don't eat. <laughs> Don't eat any mm -hmm. candy, right? Yeah, he said, drink coffee. <laughs> Tengo dolor de cabeza. No has tomado café, you say. Don't eat any candy, right? Don't eat any candy. In the case, if you need to go to the dentist, for example, if you have a problem with your tooth, then don't eat any candy, okay? Don't drink coffee. Don't drink soda, they say. So, Ay, mi coquita, you say. Don't drink soda. Yeah, it's so like, es la presión, teacher, la presión. <laughs> Give me a soda, it's so, so yeah, it some people say it works. Don't so eat. don't eat any can. So those are good examples of imperatives. Here we have uh, the final exercise for this unit. And these people have different problems. This person has a problem with the hamburger. This person needs some ketchup. So what will be your recommendation for him? ¿Qué le recomiendan? He needs ketchup. What would you don't, say? Don't eat hamburger. <laughs> no, come on. La hamburguesa está bien. Lo que no tiene es ketchup. No. ¿Qué tendría que hacer si no tiene ketchup? Buy ketchup. Buy <laughs> ketchup, to right? Market. Go to the market. Buy ketchup, right? If it has solution, you don't have to worry. And if it doesn't have solution, you don't have to worry, right? So do you need ketchup? Buy ketchup. If you are in the restaurant, ask for ketchup. It's like, hello, lady. Can you give me some ketchup, please? Right? Ask for ketchup. This person has a backache. Hmm. Oh, this person has a backache. Don't Estandar. work too hard. Don't work too hard, right? Don't work too hard. What else? Take some vacations, maybe. Get some rest. Get Take some rest. Break. Take a break. Very good examples, right? This person can't dance very well. Practice. Practice, right? <laughs> Practice. <laughs> Take lessons, very good. Take some dancing lessons, mm -hmm. right? What Take else? Take a seat, please. <laughs> Take a seat. Se sienta, mi amor. Take a seat. Don't dance. <laughs> well, here in El Salvador, we don't know that one, right? Aquí pueda o no pueda, baile bonito, baile feo. We love to dance, right? The cumbias are on and then you're like, eh. Yeah, si ya aplaude, ya signo de señora. So don't do it. <laughs> don't dance, you see. This person feels sad. Look at her face. She's very sad. Don't work. Take a vacation. Don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Don't work too much. Take a vacation. Find some friends. I don't know. Open a TikTok account or something. Listen to music <laughs> for laughing. Listen, listen to therapy. music. Take, take, take some therapy. That's good. That's very good. Definitely. This person is going to take a test tomorrow. This person is going to take a test tomorrow. What is your recommendation? I will say go to sleep. Because sleep. don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Worry. One day before, there is no problem. I mean, one day before, you cannot do anything, right? Ya tuvo un mes entero y no estudió. Que sea lo que quiere, lo que Dios quiere. Yeah. El que tenga miedo que morir. Tim Marín. Tim Marín, okay. Con la ley de Diosito. How... El examen Por es en parejas. Con la fe de Cristo. El, el examen es en parejas. Ustedes y el Señor. So... Take a test tomorrow. Do you know how to say ting marini in English? And it's ini, mini, mini, mo. Ini, mini, mini, mo. Ting marini de dos figuras. Ini, mini, mini, mo. Ini, mini, mini, mo. Escríbelo, teacher. <laughs> it is exactly like what you listen. It's ini, mini, 
Miney. Mo. Ini, mini, miny, mo. Ini, mini, miny, mo. It is like, ah, it doesn't matter. Ini, mini, miny, mo. And that's it. Right? <laughs> so that it's stigma in the hoping way. In English. And the last one. This person has the flu. Take acetaminophen. Take acetaminophen. <laughs> get take some rest. Take a lot of time and take a rest, right? Take a rest. Drink some chicken soup. Drink yeah. coffee. Drink, <laughs> yeah, a lot of good and medication. Tea. And coffee and lemon tea. Lemon tea is very good when you have the flu. Well, before we go to the platform, I am going to call the attendance, right? Antes de que no vayamos a la plataforma, I am going to call the attendance and then we can go to work there, right? Just to check it out. Thank you because all the ones uh, who were missing, you finish. And that's beautiful, right? Continue working on the rest of the exercises. Let's see. Okay. Hey, all of you are done with this. Please, I am still missing a couple of you with the midterm. So we are going to work on that right now. Let me see. Okay. Ana Isela Janes. Present. Thank you. Ana Ruth Perez. Present. Brian Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Carlos Ernesto. Present. Cynthia Marisol. Present. David Alejandro. Mr. David Alejandro. Let me see if I have him. Vamos a ver si lo ven ustedes conectado, yo no lo encuentro. David Rafael. Present. Diana Beatriz. Present. Diego Rodrigo. Ok. Diego, Rodrigo. Ah, Dieguito tiene problemas con el micrófono. Nunca me sale activo. Eh, Eric Javier. Present. Thank you. Yeah. Fatima Irín. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge Francisco. Present teacher. Josué Abel. Present teacher. Juana Margarita. Present teacher. Catherine Jamilet. Catherine. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Laura Lisset. Present teacher. Thank you. Lorena Araceli. Thank you. Thank you, Mirna Yasmin. Present teacher. Oscar Otoniel. Present. Thank you very much. Reina Yael. Present. Roberto Carlos. Here, teacher. Sandra Beatriz. Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe. Present. Tatiana Vigail. Present. Ursula Adriana. Present. Wendy Lisset. Present. Hey, perfect. Almost, almost a perfect attendance. I was only missing David Rafael. Hmm. So sad. Well, but most of you are here. Congratulations, my dear este, student. Yo aquí estoy. Creo que hey, quien faltó es el otro David. Hey, David, you are here. No, no, no. David Alejandro. No, David Rafael. Sí, tú aquí estás. David Alejandro. Él es el que me falta, David Alejandro. No, ya, yeah. oh, tía, te tengo marcado aquí. Attendant. Okay, thank you very much for clarifying. So let's move back in business. So my dear class, most of you have already finished, but I am missing, I am still missing a couple of you here for you to complete some of the things in the module. Let me check, okay? So for... So far, we should have finished section number three. Okay. It's you can miss it and the midterm exams. Those are the sections that you are supposed to complete, right? So please, if you haven't done it, I need you to complete it, okay? Si no la han terminado, pues vayan la terminando junto conmigo para que queden ahí eh, sus, eh, 
two avances listos. Let me see. In this case, I have a couple of people here. Let me just check something. Give me a second to check something. Okay. Pero voy a mostrar los secretos de la teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to check all secretos your grade. Los expedientes, secretos X. So for you, in your case, I have David Alejandro that is missing one exercise and all the rest of you have finished, okay? Todos los demás ya terminaron todo el midterm. Perfect, perfect, my dear students. Yes, all of you have finished. Todos están completos con la sección 1, 2, 3 y los midterm exams. Only David Alejandro is missing. Diana Reyes is missing the, the midterm exams. And I think it's just that, okay? So, Dianita, if you can finish with the exams, that would be perfect, okay? I was checking on your grades. Estaba revisando sus notas. Let's go. So, I am going to share back. So, if we have finished with this, we are just going to give answers, right? To check on this part of the platform, right? Section number three, it had different exercises. Tenía alrededor de cuatro ejercicios, I think. Let's go here. In the first exercise, right? It talks about uh, the different things that the family needs, right? And for this one, you had a listening. Do you remember where is Jean going to buy a suit, a swimsuit that she needs? Do you remember this from the listening? At the department store. You can buy a swimsuit at the department store, right? What does mom need from the supermarket? Cookies for, cookies for dessert. She needs cookies for dessert, right? She needs cookies oh. for dessert. Very good. What does dad need from the drugstore? Do you remember? Aspirin. An aspirin. <laughs> Poor mm -hmm. dad. He needs an aspirin. Where is Mike going to go with his dad? Um, I don't remember. You don't the remember. Drugstore. I think so. To the drugstore to, to get drugstore. a newspaper. Aha, uh -huh, yes. To yeah. the drugstore to get a newspaper. You have very good memory, you see? Because if I put the listening, we're going to use a lot of time. So in this one, this one was about giving direction. And it says, where are, where are they going? And in this case, Okay, I think Dianita, Dianita, you need to, you can see the, the recording, you can see the recording when we finish, right? Cuando terminemos, puede ver la grabación en el canal de YouTube. Don't, don't worry. Okay, so where are they going to go right now? And it says, they are going to go to the bank. The bank. To Luf's department store or to Maria's restaurant? Let's listen. Sit. Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. The bank. It's the Ooh. bank, right? Between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Between means in the middle, right? The bank. Let's see the other place. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Where is this person going? It's going to the... David's Drugstore? Right? They are going to the drugstore. Where are yeah. they going? Number three. Listen to them. Where are they going? Number three. Here we go. 
Hey, what happened? Hey, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó, amiguita? <laughs> she doesn't want to continue working here. Yes, it's on Second Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, <coughs> it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Across from the supermarket, right? It's the Four. restaurant. Maria's restaurant. Maria's restaurant. Store? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. This one is going to the shoe store, right? The favorite shoes. The previous one was going to Maria's restaurant and the last one is going to favorite shoes. And there you go, you have this one ready, right? The next exercise that you had on this unit, right? It's another listening. But it says, where can the woman get stamps? Where can she get stamps? Where can the woman get stamps? Let's listen. <clears throat> okay, where can she get stamps? Hmm, my audio, it's, again, it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, technical issues. Okay. Now she doesn't want to work. Me niego es. Very good. Units 13 to 14 progress check. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. One. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters, and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. At the drugstore. Mm -hmm. Two. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. They need we can get drinks. some lemonade. Good idea. Three. Excuse me, is there a gas station around here? Um, I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Number four. four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. Right? Go up the street for two blocks and then you can use the restroom, right? We're going to study a little bit more on this one, right? I know this one is a complicated topic, right? Las direcciones y todo eso, un tema poquito complicado, but we're going to give a little bit more detail on this one, okay? So in this one, it's uh, the reading, the last thing that we have here, it's a reading, right? And you have it also on the manual. For the midterm exams, right, you have very similar exercises. So on this one, we have the same listening, right? Mark is going to be, and you have here, how old is he going to become? Let's check on this one. One. Are you gonna do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he gonna be? He's gonna be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes, 13. he's gonna go to high school next year. Okay, in this one, he is going to go to high school next year. Okay, si el otro año va a ir a bachillerato, va a ir a, a, a iniciar sus estudios ya de, 
they call it high school there in the United States. He cannot be 30 and he cannot be 33, right? A menos que vaya la nocturna. <laughs> because it's <laughs> going to be 13. Let's continue. Two. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody Saturday. can come that day. Saturday, right? Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD See? and the words are on television. Okay. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. Do you like karaoke? Yes. <laughs> I love karaoke. <laughs> it's really nice, right? So this was the first exam. Very good job. And in this one, are we going to work this weekend? What is the answer that you can give to this question? Are, are mm -hmm. we? No, we are done. We're going to relax. We are going to relax, right? We are talking about we, right? Are we going to work this weekend? No, we are not, right? Because the first one says, yes, I am. This is not possible. The second one, no, it's not. The next one, yes, they are. So it's not even possible. The next one, yes, he is. We are not talking about him. And the last one that we have here is, no, they aren't. So this is not possible. The next one, are they going to cook dinner? What is the most appropriate answer? Are they going to cook dinner? Yes, yeah, they are. They going to make pasta. The, yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. Are they? <coughs> yes, they are. Are you going to exercise this evening? Yes, I am. I'm going to go swimming. Yes, I am. I am okay. going to go swimming. Good. Yes, I am. Are you going? Right. The question is for you. Is Bill going to do anything after work? Yes, he's, yes, he's, he's going, going to, to visit his parents. Excellent. Bill is a man, right, in this case. Are Pam and Andrew, two people, are Pam and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. They're going they to have, party. have a party. No, they aren't. They are going to have a party, right? Yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. And it says they are going to have a picnic. That's not appropriate. Is it going to rain tomorrow? No, uh, it's not. It's, not it's going, to be going to be cloudy. Cloudy. It's going to be cloudy. Va a estar nublado, right? Very good job. Del Salvador, no, va a estar hablando. And <laughs> tomorrow rains. <laughs> so the next one, WH questions. In this one, we need to be very careful, right? ¿Se recuerdan cuando hablamos de las WH words? Tenemos que ver a qué se refiere la respuesta primero. Next summer, we are going to go to Alaska, it says. Where? Where are you going to go next summer? Very good, because on the answer, you have a place, right? We are going to go to Alaska next summer. Where are you going to go? Alaska, wow. We are going to take a boat. How are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? Perfect, right? Because on the answer, oh my God, a lot of rain. Just viviendo por ahí, ya me di cuenta. How are you going to get there? On the answer, you have a manner, right? Tienen una manera de cómo van a hacer las cosas. That sounds so exciting. I'm going to go with my family. Who are you going to go with? Because on the answer, you have people, right? Very good job. The next one, great. We are going to go on June 21st. When are you going to work? When are you going to work? Because you have a date on the answer. Perfect job. Very good job. The next one, we are about to finish with this one. And it says... Conversation number one, I have a headache, it says. 
I have a headache. Because you cannot say, I feel a headache. Yo siento como un dolor de cabeza. No, I get a headache. It's not possible. I have a headache. These pills. What do you do with the pills? Drink the pills? Take. Eat or take? Take. Take, take yeah. these pills. Take. Take these pills. The matter. What's the matter? What's, What's the matter, matter, right? We learned this one yesterday. What's the matter? I don't feel well. I don't feel well. well. Very well. I don't feel well. well. Do you feel today? Oh. How? How do you feel How today? Do you How feel do today? You feel today? today. ¿Cómo te sientes ahora? Not so good. I have sore eyes. I have, I have, I have sore eyes. I have sore eyes. I have a backache. Oh my God. Don't exercise. <laughs> Don't relax. <laughs> and this medication. Use, 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 use this medication, right? Maybe it's muscle cream and you are going to use it like this. Okay, very good job on the exercises. And this is the last one. This is the uh, the article about home remedies. Don't ask abuelitas in El Salvador because they have a lot. Uh, even us, right? Yo creo que hasta nosotros van de generación en generación, right? Mi abuela lo hacía, mi mamá lo hacía y yo lo hago y yo, mi hijo tal vez lo va a hacer en el futuro. Home remedies, right? For a cold. What is the home remedy for a cold? I need one volunteer to read it. Voluntario para lectura. Yo no voy a leer. Okay, I have Wendy first and then Tatiana. Tengo cuatro, no tengo tres. Wendy first and then Tatiana. And then Diana. Okay. A cold. What can you do? Uy, me lo voy a acercar, pero. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I will make it bigger. Lo voy a hacer más grande, don't worry. Okay, okay lo voy a hacer más grande y lo voy a mover aquí. Okay. Uy, muy grande. <laughs> Very good. Es verdad que no veo, pero no tanto. <laughs> Okay, a cold. What can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Mm. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. Oh my God. Imagine. <laughs> and then you don't have a cold, but you get diarrhea, right? <laughs> At least you, you get one better, right? Very good job. Thank you. That's for a cold. Would you like to try this medicine? ¿Probarían esta medicina para el resfriado? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> Red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. Maybe. Maybe the chicken soup. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. Let's go here. Number two. My second volunteer was who? Tati, right? Yeah. Go ahead. A cold. Do you have a bad cold? Drink water, tea, or take some honey. This can make your throat feel better. Okay, drink warm tea and take some honey. That's something that, yes, we do, right? Eso sí es bien salvadoreño, lo hacemos. This can make your throat feel better. That's something that we will do. Dianita, the next one. A headache. He said a headache. What about a headache? How do you say it? Headache. A headache. Put a go cold on your head or splash your face with cold water. Water. You can also also also. Put your hand in hot water, it can help. Okay, you can put your hands in hot water. I have heard that one before. Ese yo lo he escuchado. Que tienes que poner las manos en agua caliente for the headache. And put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. You have headache. That's the pronunciation. Headache and put a cold cloth on your head, right? And the last one. Insomnia. Who can help me with the insomnia? Can't sleep at night. 
drink oh. a little glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. Take a, a drink, a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath, right? This is something that you can do for insomnia. If not, take a mathematics book and start reading. And then you're going to put it in. No agarren uno de inglés porque se van a emocionar. Entonces, no. Take a mathematics book. For a cold, what can you do for a cold? Some people. Uh -huh. Drink hot water. For a cold, drink warm tea or take some, some people. Honey. Some people eat hot chicken. Okay, so hot chicken. Hot chicken. So for a cough? Um, drink warm tea. You can drink warm tea. Or take, you can drink honey. Or take some honey for a headache. Put a cold cloth on your head. Put a cold cloth on your head, right? And for insomnia? Bring a large glass of okay. warm milk or take a warm bath. Or take a warm bath. Well, you see what is the best solution for insomnia? To try to go to sleep on the rain, right? Tratar de dormir cuando empieza a llover. So have a very beautiful night, my dear students. Practice the verbs. And we are going to study this on the next session on Monday. Have a beautiful weekend, practice your English and have a beautiful night. See you on Monday for the next class. Bye. See you bye. 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 Drink bye. some tea and go to sleep. Bye. 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 No se vayan a <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> bye. <laughs>